Colin, I imagine you're accustomed to people knowing who you are and where you come, but being on the, the literature, it's King Carl, the return of the king. So that's nice and flattering for you. You must be really proud of that. No, it, it, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, it's interesting how this evolved from a few months ago. And um, it's exciting for me. I've not been to an international meeting in Europe since 1997, my retirement day in Berlin. So this will be this will be an experience I haven't seen in a long time. And, and to see the evolution of the sport, obviously I followed on television and the internet like everyone else does. But just to be in that environment again will be really exciting tomorrow. Okay. What's your memories specifically of Oslo? Well, I, I always thought it was a great meet. I've watched world records here, you know, in the middle distances because it's always, it was more of a distance meet when I ran and, it, and earlier in my career. Then later in my career, they started bringing the sprinters in and now the sprinters had great times here. So I've always performed well, I always liked it. And I'm just happy that the athletes tomorrow will have really good warm weather uh, because I'm biased to the sprinters, that is. <laughs> They're gonna have nice weather and um, I think it should be a great competition of a lot of young sprinters. Specifically, not to mention age at all, but obviously from your time when you're on the circuit and European, it's changed quite a lot obviously now with the Diamond League format and as you see with the press conferences, we're big on head-to-heads and really making sure it's a fantastic event for the fans. What's mm -hmm. your thoughts on the Diamond League and how it's evolved? Well, I think what's really interesting is, is that the athletes um, could engage more in it, I really believe, and I understand exactly what they're trying to do with the Diamond League, with the head-to-head -head and the matches, but at the end of the day, I think the athletes need to step up and feel ownership in the Diamond League more instead of being, instead of going to the meets, feel, take ownership of the meets mm -hmm. and I think they could, they could help it grow even more. Okay, good. And last thing then ahead of tomorrow are there any performances or events that you're specifically looking forward to obviously the 100 meters I'm no doubt you'll have an eye on that. Yeah I'm, I'm a fan of the sport I mean I've always been a fan of all the events so I look forward to the excitement. My thing is that I always fed off of the, the crowd and whatever the crowd loves I love and of course I'm going to watch the 100 meters and that'll be big but I'm just going to get into whatever the crowd gets in and just be a great spectator tomorrow. Thank you very much for talking to us. Great thank you all right.